Yom Kippur was prescribed by God for the Israelites as a ritualistically cleansing day. The nation of Israel would gather in Jerusalem when the temple still stood there, and they would sacrifice a goat, its blood used to pay the price for their sin. When that sacrifice was accepted by God, then they were brought back into right relationship with God. As Christ followers, we look at Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, as a foreshadowing of Jesus. It points to Jesus Christ, who we believe did pay the price for our sins with His blood. And in doing so, He brought us into right relationship with God the Father. But did you know there were actually two goats for Yom Kippur? The first, again, sacrificed and its blood used to pay the price for man's sin. But the second one was left alive. It was called the Azazel. And Yom Kippur was not complete until the Azazel had been dealt with. Listen, the high priest is to lay his two hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of the Israelites and all their transgressions in regard to all their sins. And thus he is to put on them or put them on the head of the goat and send it away into the wilderness by the hand of a man standing ready. The goat is to bear on itself all their iniquities into an inaccessible land. So he is to send the goat away into the wilderness. It's where we get our term scapegoat, the Azazel. It wasn't killed, but instead was left alive to serve as the vehicle that would carry away the sins of man to a place where those sins would never be seen or heard from again. Two goats on the Day of Atonement. One who was sacrificed and its blood used to pay the price for sin, but the other used to carry away the sins of man into the wilderness. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. When we hear John say that, we think, Jesus, He is the one who paid the price for our sins with His blood. But do we also see Him and believe He is our scapegoat, the one who carries our sins away to a place where they can never taunt us or tempt us or harass us again? As far as the East is from the West, so far has He removed our transgressions from us. If we honestly recognize that we are in sinners in need of a Savior and that Jesus Christ is that Savior who paid the price for our sins with His blood, then He invites us into a life of freedom with Him, not just in eternity, but in the here and now, today. If you are not living in that freedom of Christ today, let me ask you, have you seen and believed Jesus as your scapegoat, the one who will take your sins, which he has already paid for, and carry them away to a place where you never have to be harassed or taunted or tempted by them again. 